Hey everyone, my name's Chris, welcome back. The other day we took a look at the first beer, Salter's Gun Belt, and today we're going to take a look at another piece of tactical kit from first beer. It's the AGB sleeve, uh, you know, it's a, it's a sort of a war belt they're often referred to, padded molly belt, uh, designed to incorporate with the AGB. So, uh, you know, pretty, pretty awesome product, I think, really nicely designed, so we're going to have a close in look at how it's put together. Okay, so here's our uh, our AGB sleeve, and we'll start off with the the main construction material, which is a, a 500 denier cordura rather than a thousand. That saves a lot of weight, and when you combine that with the 612 technology, cutting out all that webbing and all the stitching holding all that webbing on, uh, you you combine to a, a really nice lightweight package. Uh, you're looking at, I mean, I don't have my scales here with me, but this <laughs> this belt weighs very very little I can say that for sure um, 612 is a laser cut system it's uh, it's PALS compatible as well as compatible with the 612 pockets that first bit themselves make like I say it's machine cut by a computer this isn't just someone sits there with a knife cutting these out and what you'll notice is uh, I'm hoping this will show in the camera these aren't just slits where the laser just made one pass this is, these are fully formed and what they do is they radius the edges here and you can just about see the curves at each end of the 612 openings and as any of you guys know when you radius a corner like that when it comes to strength bearing that prevents when it comes to metals it prevents cracks when it comes to fabrics pre prevents rips so you know that these are these 612 cuts are extremely resilient similar thing with the openings now the, the the great thing about this belt is of course that it's compatible with not only your uh, your pals and 612 pockets but any belt mounted accessory that uses um just simple hooks or, uh, or belt loops can be used with the agb sleeve because of these panels with these cuts that first pair have put in you've got two pals columns and then you have a large cut and what you can do is thread your belt outside of a panel or two and attach something like a holster i've got a belt set up that i will show you in a moment but on the ends where where the actual where the six door finishes edging tape here double stitch there as you can see all the stitching is absolutely you know straight as an arrow I, you know i've had a, I've had a very thorough look over a, around this belt and it's it's been manufactured absolutely perfectly uh, you know not a surprise with first bit on the inside this is a really great feature we've got the, the spacer mesh here 3d spacer mesh brilliant for airflow helps wick away sweat let that cool air flow to the body rather than just having uh, just cordura sat against your skin and the padding as well i mean a, a massive comfort increase versus some of the designs that are out there a good good amount of it and you'll notice this this back pad as well here this is a you've got a good good thickness of again more space mesh and this will sit right in that sort of in that space where you can get in the, the small of your back and just sort of pad it out and make it fit to your body much much better on the inside of it there is actually a a small webbing strip which is velcro down there it is there's the end and you can remove that and there's a there's a piece of uh, foam cut in this inside and if you don't want that piece if uh, for, for whatever reason if you feel it fits better without it i mean try it with and then try it without and see what you like and you can take the padding piece outside of this lower back spacer uh, and fit it back in whenever you like it's held in there securely and just gives you that option. We've got four polymer attachment points for attaching a yoke, webbing yoke. And this is all, of course, unsurprisingly, ITW Nexus plastic hardware, um, extremely resilient stuff. Obviously, everything is color matched, as you can see, uh, and these, these are held on with webbing. Uh, yeah. They're definitely not going to tear out on you at any point. On the lower section, and this is one of the best features, I think you've got a YKK zip. You open this up and you can, 
access the inside of the belt. Not only is this really important for uh, for attaching any 612 pockets you might want to use because it would be a nightmare without this opening, um, but it gives you access to both the plastic stiffener here and the foam padding that First Spirit put in. Here's it has a nice internal view of the spacer mesh. You see there, really great stuff. But yeah, like I say, if you don't want this plastic stiffener, or if you don't want the padding, or if you don't want them both, it is entirely up to the user. Most companies would simply sew this in. First Spirit have given you that option. If you want to remove either one or the pair, you can take them out and remove the stiffening. Uh, you could save weight and some bulk if you really wanted to. I think as it is, it's a good setup, just the way it comes to you, like so from uh, from First Beer. Um The actual end of the zip, and this is again, this is where a lot of other companies would stop and just send the product into uh, into the factory to be made. And First Beer have gone, no, well, you know, what? rather than just having that little metal zip, just as you're moving, it's gonna be rattling around. What we do is we push it all the way to the end here. We've got a little garage that's made of Hyperlon, the uh, the Blue Force gear stuff that you see on their, their 10 speed pouches. And it just keeps that zip tucked away. So it's one, it's not gonna rattle and it's not gonna get caught on anything and just open up on you and you'll be running around with a, uh, a belt where the, the, the bottom of it is just open, which is obviously not ideal. But they fixed that. It's just these little bits of attention to detail that make first beer such a you know as 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 a well-renowned and well-respected company as they are the overall shape the comfort and the fit is fantastic uh, I, I i got this one and very shortly after i picked up another one in multicam and speaking of that actually in true television fashion here's one i made earlier now on this one just as an experiment i have actually removed the plastic stiffling so it's quite squidgy right now as you'll notice the the one that still has the stiffener on the inside it's very tough in that vertical dimension I've removed it from this one but I've left in the padding I'm just gonna I'm gonna run it like this and we'll see how it works um, so basically what I've done is set this up as a demonstration so we've got 612 double pistol pocket here a, a speed reload M4 AR whatever SA80 magazine pocket and then these are using the 612 attachment. You can just about see the 612 tabs in there. Same thing with the speed reload pocket. Kydex on the inside of these. And then just to demonstrate, we've got an old uh, Blue Force gear 10 speed here. And that uses standard uh, molly straps. And that's just weaved through the 612 splits. And then, as I was mentioning before, belt mounts. This is G-code RTI wheel. Uh, this is actually uh, for a two inch belt, but I've put my assaulter's gun belt on the inside. And uh, as you can see, I've, I've weaved my AGB to the outside of the 612 panels, and that has allowed me to fit this, this belt mounted uh, holster accessory onto the outside there, so I can put all my uh, G code holsters right on there very nicely. Opening at the front. It's a, it can be a little fiddly with um, with actually feeding the belt through, especially when you have belt mounted accessories like this that are made of hard kydex. But the great, another great thing about this, having this YKK zip, is that you can get to the inside and you can sort of, you know, you know finagle your straps around and wrestle with them until you get everything set up. And uh, I'm looking forward to using this and trying it out, see how it performs. I think it's gonna be very comfortable to use uh, extremely stable and just that, that functionality it gives you in terms of all the different pouches and accessories and everything that you can attach is uh, is really extremely handy uh, I think you know anything that you've already got you're going to be able to attach on and if you want to use the first beer stuff the options there okay guys so there is our fully set up good to go Salter's gun belt with the AGB sleeve um, really uh, excellent product I think compared to a lot of the other Molly War belts you see out there this one is uh, in terms of purely design from my perspective uh, the build quality 
uh, the ergonomics, everything, I think it's, it's certainly the best I've seen. Um, I've looked at a lot of these and you know, so having that, the, the PALS, the 612 and the belt mounted option, there aren't many products out there that give you that and the ones that are, are you know, they, they have other problems and I think this, this system does a really good job of addressing all of those and it gives you, give you just a, an all round brilliant option. Um, you can pick these up from First Beer and various other tactical gear retailers, I'll put the link just to the first beer web store down in the description box below. Thank you for watching everyone. I appreciate all the subscribers out there, all the thumbs up and the sharing and the favorites and all that stuff. It's helped a lot. Uh, I do appreciate that. Um, if you want to keep up to date with all the videos put on the channel and various other content related to this, I've got a Facebook page for it. Again, link in the description box. So thank you once more for watching. I'll see you next time.